big first quarter. Showing up here in the third quarter. Zaire Williams left that one short. Nothing but the bucket. Russell, a pull up three. Kyle Anderson, a tap rebound. Bain back the other way. Bain on a blow by to the cup. Hangs, breaks it in, and draws a foul on Russell. Numerous times tonight, Desmond Bain has been able to go end to end, whether making a play for a teammate or for himself. This, this, this is evolution of his NBA game in terms of being able to be a score facilitator off the dribble. Bain with 14 points. He averages 20 a game, 21 a, a game on the road, and 14 at home. So Daniels is going to come back here. Russell goes out with his fourth foul. A conversation with our crew chief, Bill Kennedy, about that last call. Bain converts. Chris is a couple of and ones here in the period, helping keep them in the ball game. Not shooting well from the three point line, just 5 of 21. Their, their offensive game is not predicated on the three-point line. You just don't want to have such a large discrepancy. Towns, a pitch out, Beverly for three. And I have the right people shooting the three ball. And Beverly is the guy you want taking it more times than not. KYP. Conchar's in for three. That one halfway down. Rebound to Beverly. Yeah, Minnesota is one of the best three-point margin teams in the NBA. Beasley, no. Well, shoot, but he doesn't have it going tonight. One make for Beasley on the night. Someone sets the screen. Moran turns it down. Assist for Morant. He averages 6.7. Edwards crashing inside. Don't call either way. Rebound Bain. Grizzlies are tired to lead with a long one. Bain dishes. Morant thought about it, but covered up by McDaniels. See here, how about the lob again? The passes are, are fantastic passes, but you get the Grizzlies credit for not standing and watching, finding and cutting to the open areas of the floor, knowing that Morant will find him. Bain to the line, 5 for 5 tonight, 88% for the season. Grizzlies are now plus 9 in attempts. Again, this is a Minnesota team. They don't shoot a lot of free throws, but they will put you at the line. We had to figure out a way to make up the difference in the three-pointers. So the way that the Grizzlies are making up that difference is by the rebound of Brandon Clark. Zero points in this third quarter for Anthony Edwards. Morant hangs and hits again. I said Morant, the leading third-quarter scorer in the league. He averages almost nine points per third quarter. He's got five in the period. And uh, he spoke too soon about Anthony Edwards. Rob Fisher, check in. Well, check out the Grizzlies offensively. John Morant doing exactly what Darko Ryakovic wants. So is DeAnthony Melton. He said, we've got to touch the paint every single possession. We're getting downhill that way. When we touch the paint, we're making the right play. And our offense is becoming a lot easier. Grizzlies have done it the last two possessions out of that timeout. Also, he said defensively, they're starting to feel us a little bit. We've got to keep up that activity. Well, he just now has the ability to become an offensive weapon because the big is not up as high as they were earlier in the game. Torian Prince in for the first time tonight. John Conchar, 12 rebounds, 11 on the defensive end. Tied for the most by Grizzlies player this year. McDaniels, off the loose ball, 50-50 ball. Well, he, he was kissing the rim on a vertical jump dunk. Shout out Pac-12, right? Yes, sir. From the Washington Husky. Excellent. Three ball. And it's off the mark. Tilt it. Melton. Around a Clark screen. Pick and roll. Clark. No. Melton. Yes. With the follow. Grizzlies. 12 second chance points. A transition three by Towns is in. Ties the game at 84. Towns first three point make. 
Melted! 